live. The southeast is dealing with the devastating impact of Hurricane Helene flooding and mudslides destroying entire communities. It's from Florida to North Carolina. The death toll has risen to at least 69. In the wake of that devastation, volunteers and Good Samaritans are stepping up to help. NBC's Bianca Smith has the story. It's a backdrop of destruction, a near total loss. One of the only things left untouched after Hurricane Helene, this tire swing. These folks have worked so hard over the past year from Idalia to get to this point, and then they just got wiped out again. But so much bad has been met with good. Neighbors, volunteers are coming from near and far to help. Bill Matkins is all too familiar with hurricane damage. The Mississippi man experienced Hurricane Katrina firsthand. There is hope and I've seen it. It took 15 years for my town to grow back and uh, it's 15 years right now and so it's just going to take a little time and patience and putting up with this mess. Matkins says he hasn't been able to shower in three days because he's been too busy with cleanup. He says the cleanup efforts will go on for at least six months. People from outside of the county are feeling the effects from the storm. They're digging into their own pockets to help buy food for the residents here. But without any running water or power, there's no way to store the food, making this a temporary solution. You can't even put it into words. Janet Osteen has lived in Dixie County her entire life. Her husband grew up in Horseshoe Beach. She packed her kids, grandkids, and great grandkids into the car and drove them to Horseshoe Beach to help. Osteen and her family brought enough food to feed 350 people. Everybody will bond together. Everybody's going to, all these people here, somebody's going to help them from our community because that's how we are. Nobody will be left alone out here. Osteen's grandchildren, Raylan and Remy, are only in elementary school. They decided to help the best way they could think of by making some lemonade. The hurricane kind of reminded us that a lot of people can lose their house so we decide to help. A warm meal, a cold drink, as this small town begins to clean up. The American Red Cross of Idaho and East Oregon says four people from Idaho are currently volunteering to help people impacted by Hurricane Helene. Now those volunteers are from Cuna, Mountain Home, Idaho Falls and Chubbuck. Meanwhile, power companies from across the country are sending crews to help energy companies down south. Crews from Connecticut, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire hit the roads this morning, and crew members say they're happy to help. Uh, it's actually pretty exciting. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's real rewarding when you actually get to go down and help people out. About 3 million customers are without power as a result of the hurricane.